Lesson 103. The French Test. Listen to the tape, then answer this question. How long did the exam last? How was the exam, Richard? Not too bad. I think I passed in English and mathematics. The questions were very easy. How about you, Gary? The English and maths papers weren't easy enough for me. I hope I haven't failed. I think I failed the French paper. I could answer 16 of the questions. They were very easy, but I couldn't answer the rest. They were too difficult for me. French tests are awful, aren't they? I hate them. I'm sure I've got a low mark. Oh, cheer up. Perhaps we didn't do too badly. The guy next to me wrote his name at the top of the paper. Yes. Then he sat there and looked at it for three hours. He didn't write a word. Lesson 105. Full of mistakes. Listen to the tape, then answer this question. What was Sandra's present? Where's Sandra, Bob? I want her. Do you want to speak to her? Yes, I do. I want her to come to my office. Tell her to come at once. Did you want to see me? Ah, yes, Sandra. How do you spell intelligent? Can you tell me? I-N-T-E-L-L-I-G-E-N-T. -E -E That's right. You've typed it with only one L. This letter's full of mistakes. I want you to type it again. Yes, I'll do that. I'm sorry about that. And here's a little present for you. What is it? It's a dictionary. I hope it'll help you. Lesson 107. It's too small. Listen to the tape, then answer this question. What kind of dress does the lady want? Do you like this dress, madam? I like the color very much. It's a lovely dress, but it's too small for me. What about this one? It's a lovely dress. It's very smart. Short skirts are in fashion now. Would you like to try it? All right. I'm afraid this green dress is too small for me as well. It's smaller than the blue one. I don't like the color either. It doesn't suit me at all. I think the blue dress is prettier. Could you show me another blue dress? I want a dress like that one, but it must be my size. I'm afraid I haven't got a larger dress. This is the largest dress in the shop. Lesson 109. A good idea. Listen to the tape, then answer this question. What does Jane have with her coffee? Shall I make some coffee, Jane? 
That's a good idea, Charlotte. It's ready. Do you want any milk? Just a little, please. What about some sugar? Two teaspoonfuls? No, less than that. One and a half teaspoonfuls, please. That's enough for me. That was very nice. Would you like some more? Yes, please. I'd like a cigarette, too. May I have one? Of course. I think there are a few in that box. I'm afraid it's empty. What a pity. It doesn't matter. Have a biscuit instead. Eat more and smoke less. That's very good advice. Lesson 111. The most expensive model. Listen to the tape, then answer this question. Can Mr. Frith buy the television on installments? How does it work? I like this television very much. How much does it cost? It's the most expensive model in the shop. It costs 500 pounds. That's too expensive for us. We can't afford all that money. This model's less expensive than that one. It's only 300 pounds. But, of course, it's not as good as the expensive one. I don't like this model. The other model's more expensive, but it's worth the money. Can we buy it on installments? Of course. You can pay a deposit of 30 pounds and then 14 pounds a month for three years. Do you like it, dear? I certainly do, but I don't like the price. You always want the best, but we can't afford it. Sometimes you think you're a millionaire. Millionaires don't buy things on installments. Lesson 113. Small change. Listen to the tape, then answer this question. Who has got some small change? Fares, please. Trafalgar Square, please. I'm sorry, sir. I can't change a 10-pound note. Haven't you got any small change? I've got no small change, I'm afraid. I'll ask some of the passengers. Have you any small change, sir? I'm sorry, I've got none. I haven't got any either. Can you change this ten-pound note, madam? I'm afraid I can't. Neither can I. I'm very sorry, sir. You must get off the bus. None of our passengers can change this note. They're all millionaires. Except us. I've got some small change. So have I. Lesson 115. Knock, knock. Listen to the tape, then answer this question. What does Jim have to drink? Isn't there anyone at home? I'll knock again, Helen. Everything's very quiet. I'm sure there's no one at home. But that's impossible. 
Carol and Tom invited us to lunch. Look through the window. Can you see anything? Nothing at all. Let's try the back door. Look, everyone's in the garden. Hello, Helen. Hello, Jim. Everybody wants to have lunch in the garden. It's nice and warm out here. Come and have something to drink. Thanks, Carol. May I have a glass of beer, please? Beer? There's none left. You can have some lemonade. Lemonade? Don't believe her, Jim. She's only joking. Have some beer.